Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How The Ale. It's Friday night, which of course means it's alcohol-free beer night. And the beer we're going for tonight is from Mash Gang. It's this one. It is Nesquik. And Nesquik is a strawberry milkshake white stout. Uh, and it, it proudly claims on the front it's now with artificial strawberry flavour, which of course is a piss take on the, uh, the Nesquik itself, which is about as artificial tasting as it comes. Anyway, it says on the side of the can that this is a heavily fruited strawberry and vanilla low alcohol white stout containing strawberry puree, vanilla pods, hibiscus flowers and kvake yeast. And it says it's a luxury, oh sorry, a luxurious dessert of a beer. Strawberry vanilla is a god tier pairing, correct? Uh, and hibiscus makes the strawberry taste more like strawberry. Wouldn't know, they've never eaten hibiscus, knowingly anyway. And what is a white stout? Don't know really, just thought it sounded good. Uh, we make up half of it as we go along. I think everybody probably is. And I think there's an element of truth in that, uh, particularly with some of the crazy flavours that people put out there. Um, but yeah, anyway, I am not a massive fan of strawberry and beer. Uh, I'll put that out there now. Uh, I've tried a couple, one particular one from Northern Monk, I found overly sweet. Um, so I'm hoping this one's tamed a little bit and brought down out of the diabetes levels of sweetness. Um, yeah, hopefully so, because it's got the natural strawberry flavour. Anyway, your ingredients are water, malted barley, wheat, oats, strawberry puree, hops, hibiscus flowers, vanilla pods, fake yeast, natural and artificial flavourings, fructose and natural colour. So, I do love the can artwork, the kind of batshit crazy rabbit with uh, the Nesquik quick bunny, you know, brain hanging out, there's a strawberry, eyes on stalks. It looks awesome. So let's get it out into a mash can glass and see what we think. Speaking of mash can glasses, Every, anyone seen the uh, the big 500 mil steins on their Twitter feed and whatnot lately? Who knows? I want one. I know. Anyway, the pour is... Wow, look at the colour on that. That is... That is certainly very pink. Very milky looking. Not much in the way of head, but then again, it's alcohol-free beer, so I don't expect huge amounts. Um, but that is haze for days. That does not look far off of <laughs> strawberry milk. So yeah, it's the right colour. It's got the uh, it's got it's got the appearance of, of strawberry. So, and it's not dark like that. It's a white stout. Never had one before, knowingly. Uh, so yeah, looks all right. It looks interesting. Let's have a whiff. Oh my giddy aunt! That does as well. That stinks of Nesquik. It's it's mad. The sweetness of the vanilla. The strawberries coming through. It is insane how much that smells like Nesquik. Um, it's insane how much it does. It shouldn't smell like that, but it does. It's strawberry and vanilla through and through. There's a bit of white chocolate coming through. Oh, I can't get over how much exactly that smells like Nesquik does. So, yeah, it looks good. It smells really nice. Does it work in beer, though? Let's find out. Cheers. Yeah. First thing to put out there, it is an alcohol-free stout. Not sure on the stout thing, but the body's good. It's medium to medium heavy. You've got light carbonation. It's a creamy mouthfeel. From that respect, it works. Then you go on to the flavour. Which for me shouldn't work. I'm not a big fan of strawberry and beer. But this is what I hoped for. It's dialed back. It does taste like Nesquik. It does. There's no getting away from that whatsoever. It's got that strawberry milk flavour to it. And for that, it's bang on. It's got just enough hop in there to distinguish a beer flavour in there. But crucially, it's not overly sweet. And that, that was my fear. That was a massive fear. Because I bought six of these. Um, and I thought, if I don't like it, I'm stuck with them. But I do. It's nice. The strawberry flavour is authentic in as much as sorry excuse me it's authentic enough to nesquik it works it's nice hibiscus i don't know what it tastes like so i don't know if it's there would i miss it if it was gone probably but otherwise that is 
a really tasty beverage. Yeah, it's better than I was expecting, I must say. Hmm. And as for a finish, it's got, it's got beer vibes, not in a massive way. Uh, and of course they say it is heavily fruited. So fruit is the kind of key flavor on the back end. It's strawberry, light strawberry, little bit of vanilla all the way through. It's just like a stick of rock in that sense. So, hmm. Pleasantly surprised is what I am on that one. So, some scores. So the scoreboard of joy for uh, Nesquik shows that there have been 156 check-ins and one by Tim, the alcohol-free beer explorer. Do check him out on Twitter if you haven't already. Average score of 3.06 overall, 3.75 from Tim. Yeah, yeah. So, and I'm gonna be honest, I did not expect it to be as nice as it was. Hands up. Um, it was a gamble. It's one why I didn't buy it up front because I was a little unsure back when it was first released. However, it's been released again as part of uh, a couple of packs. I bought some with uh, some more high definition because that is a banging beer. If you haven't tried it, definitely do. I'll stick a link to it up there somewhere, hopefully about this time point, if I remember. Anyway, let's click. Some points. Let's give some points for the looks. So, that's your beer in a glass. It's pink. Beer should not be pink. Uh, or should it? Who knows? Stout should not be anything other than black. This beer kind of messes with your head. It's a white stout. First one I've ever had. It's pink like strawberries. I like it. I like the looks. I must admit, it looks nice. But it's missing some head for a stout. And I know everyone, when, they, when they're giving points, well, I say when, when I'm giving points for a stout, I am looking for that nice head, as stouts tend to have. This doesn't have head, but the beer itself looks really nice. So I'm going to give it the 0.75, because I, I, I do miss a good head on a stout. And I know it's heavily fruited, and that is going to take away from that, but that is a key point for me when I'm buying a stout and drinking a stout. I want the whole experience. The aroma... Is bloody lovely. It takes me back to being like five, um, which is no bad thing. Invoking kind of good memories of your childhood is always a winner for me. Um, so yeah, I love the aroma. It smells exactly like Nesquik with a few hops thrown in for good measure. It's getting a point from me. The body is great. It's an alcohol free stout and they do tend to lack some body, but this one has got it in spades and that undoubtedly is helped by some of the fruit juice that's gone in and plenty of the oats as well. It works perfectly. It's a nice creamy mouth feel and it's getting a full point from me. The taste, again, this was the point I was most fearful of. I was expecting big sweet strawberry like I've had with some of the Neapolitan and ice cream ales that I've had from uh, Northern Monk and there was a strawberry, is it Fruly? Uh, that you can get in Tesco's, that is insanely sweet strawberry. Um, and I don't like them uh, so much so that I gave them away. This one is just right. It's creamy. It's got a hint of strawberry. Whether the hibiscus is doing anything, I don't know because I don't know what it tastes like on its own or what this would taste like without it. So I can't say if it's adding anything or not, but I like the flavor. It works. It delivers on the strawberry and vanilla front. It is missing stout like things but it, again it is a white stout that's heavily fruited and it delivers on what it says it's going to so it's getting a point from me and the finish i'm enjoying right now remnants of strawberries and cream and that i like is it a stout is it hell and i like the sound of the can they're probably making it up as they go along what is the white stout who knows Someone out there will, and I'm sure, Jordan, you'll probably tell me at some point um, when I come up to Aberdeen for the brew day uh, exactly what goes into a white stout and what makes it different from a regular stout. I'm really looking forward to finding that out. Anyway, I'm waffling. I like the finish. I love strawberries and cream. It's getting a point from me. So it's got 4.75 out of 5, which for a beer that I expected not to like is a massive bonus. So yeah, absolutely happy with that one. However, it didn't get the full five, so I can't give it a full bonus point. However, would I buy it again? Yeah, I would. I actually would. I love the nostalgia. It's brilliant. Um, so yeah, absolutely buy it again. And I'm glad I bought six now. Uh, value for money. I can't remember what I paid for this. I think it was like 30 quid plus the vodka and tonic on a box of 12 beers. 
for me, that represents good value for money um, with the quality that is on show here. So, yeah, 4.75 out of 5 with two extra boxes on the right-hand side. Not bad at all, ladies and gents, boys and girls. So, yeah, if you can get your hands on it, if you like a little bit of 80s and 90s nostalgia with a Nesquik, and you fancy it in a slightly more adult, but uh, but not necessarily uh, impairing beverage, then get yourself some uh, Nesquik. And on that note, we'll leave it there and say, that has been the beer. I've been me. Those down there are the buttons. This that I'm wearing is a nice Mash Gang t-shirt. Go and grab some while you can. And I will see you again tomorrow for another beer. Bye.